best move. Oh, that, that is the night. best move. It that is. was the only move to kind of actually maintain a small well, advantage. Well, Magnus Everything. has blundered. Um, he's just forgotten about this threat. He's brought his rook across, attacking the black queen. Oh. But now knight takes pawn, I think, is just winning for black, or at least gives a big advantage. And look at that, Stockfish, the computer confirms it. This move, knight takes pawn, knight takes f4, gives black a plus one advantage. Whoa. Just wins a pawn. We've got to check out the player Yeah, cams. let's we get off the players. That. Is well, look at that. Eric Hansen is now leaning forwards. It definitely seems he is noticing that this is a critical moment. Is Magnus Carlsen realizing he might have blundered? Yeah, it looks like it. And I can just you can see that Eric has leaned forward, pouncing like a puma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> and these, these top players have great instincts. His spidey senses will be tingling. He will know there's something in the position, but it's just about whether he has enough time to calculate it. And sometimes, especially when you play someone like the world champion, you trust them, you trust their mm. calculation. You get a bit scared. You think, these top players don't make mistakes. And then you just miss your opportunities. So it's psychological here. Yeah. First, it's about seeing the move, seeing it's an option, but also trusting himself rather than Magnus. Yeah, I, I agree. You know, because the first thing here, it could be that he's like, rook attacks queen, queen moves. That could be like an assumption there in his thinking. And remember, one of the pawns is still up for grabs. He could actually go queen takes pawn and be calculating and getting excited about that line. Completely missing that knight takes pawn on the agenda. Even stronger. Yeah, but actually, um, if we look at the other moves that the computer suggests here, the top three choices by black, two moves are fine. Knight takes pawn is actually very strong. And I think actually that gives a better advantage than the computer is saying, especially mm. psychologically. The second move, OK, he finds wow. the best move. I was going to say he could take a pawn with his queen and that's fine as well. But he, Magnus now reacts instantly. It feels like Magnus is bluffing because look at this last move by the Black Queen. She's now attacking the bishop next to her and she's still keeping an eye on both of the two white knights. And white's dark squared bishop in the center is defending both of the knights. It's simply overworked. Black is up a pawn for free. <gasps> and uh, Eric, big advantage. He's still got time on the clock as well. Doing well. And look at the bar now. It is really reacting saying 2.4 advantage for the chess streamer Eric Hansen. It would be a huge shock to the chess world if he wins this game with the black pieces. Magnus Carlsen in trouble again. Yeah, Magnus, I mean, he, you can count on one hand the, time of, uh, the amount of times he loses with white in a year. But yesterday he lost against Pregnananda with white. He lost against Nepomniachtchi with white on the first day. <sighs> Dangerous times now for the world champion. And he does not seem happy. Yeah, and full credit to Eric for spotting that as well and going for it. And uh, it's just converting this, though. Still a long way to go. Still, most of the pieces still on the board. Um, yeah, I think I would just be a bit scared here. I would just retreat that black knight that had uh, entered white's position that did grab a pawn. I would just step it back. I'm not sure exactly where, but uh, a few safe squares there. Mm -hmm. And black should have the advantage. He I'm, does retreat with that knight. Yeah, I agree. That's the safe choice. And uh, especially when you don't have so much time left on the clock. And... I'm sure that uh, Eric has just had an adrenaline rush when he's played that knight takes pawn because, you know, um, before he didn't perhaps contemplate the idea that he could win against Magnus and now it's on the cards and this is where players start to get nervous. And both sides keeping a poker face meanwhile, yeah. neither side giving much away. If I were Magnus, if I just lost a pawn for free, I would be I don't <laughs> know, beating myself up, I would just be shaking my head. So I was going to ask, do they see each other? Uh, that's they, a very good question. They can if they want to. They okay. can have, have a choice. But I don't think Magnus has his camera open most of the time, ha uh, has the opponent's camera open most of the time. Yeah. But is this a thing in, in, in chess where you like analyze the opponent and, and, and draw conclusions based on eye movements and things like that? Definitely. I mean, David does it all the time, right? Yeah, I'm obsessed with staring. I stare at the opponent too much. I think most of my opponents get really uncomfortable. They're like, why is he looking at me? But uh, yeah, um, definitely when you play over the board, it's impossible to ignore what's happening. Wow, what has just happened there? Magnus plays bishop takes pawn. Whoa! He's completely hallucinated. Magnus just lost a piece for free. And has he given up? He has given up! Wow. He has resigned! That You will never see that from a world champion. Magnus just took a pawn, but now black will play bishop takes bishop and black will be a piece up for free and win the game. So Magnus just resigns. What is up with the world champion? This is a huge development. Eric Hansen, the second lowest ranked player in the tournament. The chess streamer has just beaten with the black pieces, the world champion. And Magnus is still sitting looking at this. 
What is he thinking, David? I don't know. He must have been really surprised and shocked with himself because it appears like he hallucinated something. Yeah. And sometimes in, we talk about chest blindness. Sometimes you just make assumptions. You just forget about something. For example, maybe here he just forgot his bishop could be captured by the black light squared bishop and he's just a piece down. Um, something just went wrong in his calculations there. Maybe that was on his mind, but he just played it in the wrong order. That can happen too. Sometimes that's the second move in your mind. But if you play it first, it can all go wrong. And uh, here we see Magnus. Is this after the game? Is this...